This video explains how to set up Sage Payroll for processing in the new tax year. First, you'll need to set up the new tax year for each payroll. Log in to Sage Payroll for the current tax year and confirm that your payroll status is at end of period for the final period of the year. Click Year End, Tax, then choose the option to set up the new tax year. Then click Continue. You've now successfully copied your payroll into the new tax year. To close the confirmation message, click Close. From your desktop, open Sage Payroll for the new tax year. Then log into your payroll as usual. You can then repeat these steps for any other payrolls you want to process in the new year. The next steps are to set up your payroll calendar and if your financial year is the same as the tax year, clear your financial balances. Click Company Payroll, then Calendar. If your financial year starts on the 1st of January, you're prompted to clear down financial year balances. You can either choose Clear Down Financial Year Balances, or if you prefer to do this manually, do not clear down the financial year balances now. Then click Continue. To close the confirmation message, click OK. In First Pay Period Dates, enter your first pay date of the new tax year. This date must fall in the first tax period and will determine all future pay dates for the year. You can also enter your first bank date and, if applicable, check date and gyro date if they're different to the pay date. If you're processing a monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly payroll, you'll need to choose valid paydays. There's also an option to choose last day of month if this is your usual pay date. To create the calendar, click Update. You can now check and, if required, make changes to any pay dates in your new calendar. You should also confirm that your financial year details have been entered correctly. To save the calendar, click Save. You can now set Period 1 of the new tax year. Click Set Period. Then, in New Period to Process, enter 1. Confirm the dates and information are correct for your first period of the year. Then click OK. If your holiday year ended on the 31st of December, you're prompted to roll forward the payrolls holiday and absence year. Select the relevant options, then click Continue Set Period. When you retrieve RPNs for Period 1, any changes to employees' tax credits, cutoff points and USC thresholds and rates will be imported. You've now set up your new tax year and you're ready to start processing your payroll. For information about other tasks you may need to complete, visit our Help Centre at sage.ie slash PYE.